Hey, what's up, you guys? Dino back here. Welcome back to another session at Showtime and Dino. So you know what that means. Time to sit back, relax, forget all about the bullshit in the world. Now, this week's topic. I talked about it in my first Showtime and Dino. It's bullying. I usually go around that sometimes. I always come back to it every once in a while. But there's one thing I haven't really done. Now, I've seen some videos, I've heard some people tell me about their bullying experiences and they gave their story, so I thought it might be a good idea to share my story with you guys, you know, and then after you're done watching this video, it's up to you guys, you don't have to, I'm not trying to make you, go fuck you Norton, I don't want to do a fucking update, <laughs> my computer is telling me you need to update something and restart your computer, no, I'm trying to record a video here. <laughs> But, anyways, I don't want I don't want you guys to seem like I'm forcing you to do it. But if you guys want, write in the comment below. I mean, not your full story, but an experience you've had with bullying. Have you bullied others before? Have you had some pretty serious bullying experiences? What's the timeline here? I got a while. <laughs> anyways, I'm gonna start back from. I'm only gonna say the things that I honestly can remember, and I remember a lot. But. When I first got bullied, I was really young. Like, I was really, really young. I was about preschool, I think. Yeah, it was preschool. And I don't remember how long it went on before, but it wasn't from kids. It was from teachers. But I don't remember how long it was. I just remembered specific things. Like, the teachers would always get mad at me and yell at me, call me slow they would get pissed off at me if I wasn't able to tie my shoes and they would rarely ever help me and they would always yell at me if I was crying and one thing I will never fucking forget I'm never gonna forget her face either because Jesus Christ you look at the wicked witch of the west from the wit the old wizard of Oz now just imagine her but without the green skin, you got that teacher. But it wasn't my teacher, it was the teacher next door to the classroom I was in. She, one day, she got really close up in my face. She said this to me. If you don't shut up and stop your crying, I'm going to take you home with me. And then she kept on asking me over and over and over, you want me to take you home with me? You want me to take you home with me? <sighs> the only reason I remember her face, because it was just so weird looking like I swear she seriously looked like the wicked witch of the west that's the only reason I remember her I always called her that in my head I was like you fucking wicked witch of the west I mean now I was only like four or five at the time so I didn't even really start cousin so until I was about eight sorry mom if you're watching this <laughs> but uh I mean obviously bullying never stops you're gonna get you're gonna always get bullied no matter wherever you go but I was always one of the kids that would get picked last for stuff or <clears throat> no excuse me or I would get left out on a lot of stuff and people would always think I'm weird call me a freak a loser whatever I mean I know I'm a freak I've accepted that and I'm proud of it I'd rather be be some weirdo freak with a Superhero collection on the red. I mean, you've got seen it before. I don't know if I showed you an update for it, but I but I organized it. Jesus Christ, it's a mess. I mean, it's just not a mess. It's just a big clusterfuck. <laughs> Anyways, but a lot of I mean, to sum it up, I was like that kid that always got picked last for dodge for a dodgeball team during gym, and I literally was unless the teacher assigned the teams. <sighs> they I would not and. Blah, 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 blah getting my words mixed up <laughs> and they would always come well i already said they would call me a freaking loser but when it come when it also comes to like group projects nobody ever really picked me i was always the shy person in the class i still am but i'm growing out of it i would always sit back in the classroom because i didn't want people to make fun of me if i had to stand up in front of the class i always have that anxiety i can't stand up in front of people and talk to them Hell, I can't even really read a book out loud to people. It's like, I'll read it super fast in my head, but out loud, it's like I'm a turtle. Or I'm running a three-legged race with myself. That makes zero sense. Pretty much my legs are just tied together. That's how my words are when I read a book out loud in front of people. I stumble over my words is what I'm trying to say. Anyways. But most of the bullying that I've experienced, it was mostly physical. A lot of emotional, but it was mostly physical. 
I remember I used to look, uh, when I was younger, it was just me and my mom for a few years. Well, about, I'd have to say maybe somewhere between 10 and 12 years that it was just me and my mom. See, my, my dad never really was around in my life, so it was just me and my mom. We lived with my grandma for a little while, but then we moved, like, every few years we would move from place to place. I've lived, I remember every house that I've ever lived in, except for one. Eh, that's a, another time. Oh, I even remember the house I lived in when I was one. But anyways, and, but there was this one specific place I'm never gonna forget. It's not the house ex itself. It's like the people that I lived by. It was either, I mean, I lived close by a park. It was in walking distance, like less than a block to get there. I'd have to say maybe a block. I'm not sure. But every time I would go up there, there were some nice people. I would occasionally, sorry, I keep checking the time. I would occasionally meet some nice people there. But most of the time it was assholes. It was complete assholes. This is when I really learned never to trust people. I used to get the living shit beat out of me when I was there by people I don't even know. Like the one, the one that I remember the most, there were, uh, there was three people there. There was this guy who was beating on me and there was this other guy. I don't really remember much of him. And there was this guy. And then there was the dude's sister. Now he kept on harassing me saying, hey, let me ride your bike, let me ride your bike. I'm like, no, I don't know you. And I was really young. I was about maybe seven or eight. No, yeah, I was about eight or nine because I didn't live in that house till I was about nine or eight. But I didn't let him ride my bike. But after a while, he just started to randomly hit me or whatever, and he would not stop. And people were just staring and watching, and his sister was cheering him on, saying, ooh, kick his ass or whatever. I'm just like, I'm thinking, I'm only eight years old, man. And the kid was like maybe 12, 14. Yeah, but 12 or 14. And he only did this because I wouldn't let him ride my bike. And I would always walk home, not, all, not always, but every time I would always walk home bruised and sore as hell and crying. I mean, I was a young kid. I was getting the living shit beat out of me. <laughs> but do I still got time? Yeah, dude, fuck it. But, uh, and then... He ended up throwing my bike on me at some point. Like, I remember I, I had a little bit of blood in my mouth, so I spat out. Okay, so this, he, just saying this, I'm right here laying, crying, bloodied in the mouth. And he's like, maybe about 10, 10, 15 yards away from me. I spit maybe two, you know, on the foot or two in front of me. He said, spit on me again, see what happens. And then I didn't even spit on him. I spit on him. I spit like a few feet in front of me. So I did it again. He came up to me, started pounding me on the head as hard as he could, and then he threw my bike on me. And I was walking home with my bike crying, and I was in tears, and I was sore as all hell. And, yeah, and but then a few days later, I went to ride my bike, and my bike stolen. I go to put the that day when I got when I got beat up again. He, put, I put my bike in the garage as usual, like I always did, and then I go to ride it a few days later. It's not in the garage anymore, and I'm thinking, I know who did it. The funny thing is, I never met the kid in my life. Never knew him, never even knew his name, never saw him before, never saw him again after that. But I, but that's the one I really remember the most, but I remember I used to get beat up a lot at that park, like, a lot. It was some, probably almost... Maybe once a month, once every two months, few months, I don't know. I mean, it wasn't constant. It was just spread out throughout the years. I've lived in the house, I think, maybe three or four years. I don't know. What's my time? Yep, I'm good. And there was these other kids. And I knew, and these kids I knew more personally. There was three of them. I'm not going to say who they were because, well, my uncle knows them. And he might know who they are. I'm only going to say their, like, first names. I'm not going to say anything else, obviously. Why would I? I remember one of them, his name was Jason, Mikey, and I think the other one, Brandon. Yeah, his name was Brandon. They would always tease me, pick on me, whatever. But Mikey, Mikey was the worst. 
he once had this cast, he would just randomly start hitting me out of nowhere, beating the living shit out of me. And I was really young. I was really fucking young. I think I was younger. I think I was, I think this was before I moved into that house. Yeah, it was before I moved into that one house at the park. And he would always pick on me, hit me. I couldn't do anything. I used to have like cuts up here from a, from his cast. I fought back one time. I had a fucking uh, basketball pump and I was trying to hit him with it, but I really couldn't. But there was another time my eye swelled up like, like that. There was this piece of chocolate hard as a rock because it was frozen. He chucked it at me as hard as he could. I was crying my heart out. I was younger. Nothing really happened. And I mean, I was really, I was really young too. And his older brother, Jason would always like trick me because there's this one old movie called the candy man. You see, I started watching horror movies when I was five years old. Yes. The first movie I think I, for, yeah, that was the first horror movie. I think I watched was either, uh, Freddy versus Jason or Candyman. I remember watching Candyman. I was scared shitless. I mean, I was younger. And he started to trick me, saying, Oh, Candyman's in the house. He's going to get you if you go back in. Blah, blah, blah. He kept going in the house, coming back out, doing the same thing over and over and over and over again. And I, I was scared shitless. <sighs> yeah. What's my time on this? Uh, yeah, I'm good. And and we kept on mo and I moved again from that house into another one and this is the last house I moved in before I moved into the house I lived in now and that was a few years ago I got into a few more I used to get into a lot of fights then, but not, not barely any during school but this last one I got most of them during school Uh, how am I gonna say this? One day I was running home from school. Well, I mean, I just felt like running. I mean, I liked, I love to run, even though I can't. Even though I'm overweight. I know. I mean, not over, I'm not overweight. I'm out of shape. <laughs> That's the problem. I'm not a fat ass. I'm just, I'm just out of shape. And I decided to run because sometimes I like to run, and then I was listening to music, one of my headphones falls out, there was these guys, they've, they've said shit to me before, they were like, run you motherfucking, I'm not gonna say it, you motherfucking N, and I said something back, and I just like had enough, I was like, you motherfucking pussies, you ain't gonna come say that to my goddamn face, and I just walked away, about, Four, five, yeah, about four of them walked up. Two of them got on the side of me. One, oh, it was three. Two of them was on the side. One was in the back. They kept saying stuff to me. I kept walking. One of them was, one of them kept, and there was a big dude. He kept telling him in the back, hey, kick his ass, man. Kick his ass. Kick his ass. And, and then just out of nowhere, I get this big ass flash, like, I thought it looked like a flashbang in Call of Duty. Just I saw a white flash and I heard ringing. And then I was on the ground and all my stuff was all over. And I instantly get up. You see, I'm not the one to back down from a fight instantly. I usually only I mean I'm a fighter if I have to defend myself. I never really start the fights. I, I don't take the shits. I just disturb them. If you get that reference, you're awesome. And then he just kept on beating on me. Then I had him in a headlock, and they, I, if, they probably wouldn't have stopped. It was just the big dude, but he was, he was fucking huge. He was taller and bigger than me, and this was years ago. I was about maybe 13, I was about, yeah, I was about 14 or 13. And there was this one, there was some guys that drove by, and it was, if it wasn't for them, they probably would have beat me so hard I wouldn't be able to get up. They probably wouldn't have stopped, because they weren't stopping until they did something. And so not them. So this lady drove by and it was a complete stranger and she actually drove me home. From a place, I mean, I never really grew up in one house. I always just moved around. So technically I never really had a childhood home. I had childhood, childhood homes. Not, I'm not sure how many people can say they have childhood homes. But anyways. And then the last fight I ever got to when I lived in that city... I mean, I remember my neighbor, he was such a nice guy, but he was a bull, he was a shit talker. Not in a mean way, though. He was, uh, he was, uh, 
ex, not, I don't know if he was, I think he was Navy, he said he was a paratrooper, I, I forgot if that's Marines or Navy, but he taught me how to fight, sort of, and, but, after a while, I kind of stopped, because I lost interest, and I felt bad for that, but, I was hanging out with these guys, or whatever, I went on a different bus to hang out with them, they kept slapping me on the back of my neck, and I said something to them, and, there was two twins. They started to hit me, and there was this one woman, one girl there. She was screaming at me to get off of them, and he was, they were on top of me, beating the shit out of me. And then there was this other guy. He, and that was this guy. His mom came up to pick him up or whatever, and she got me, and she was yelling at him for not doing anything, and he got in trouble, and he bitched at me because he didn't do anything. I'm like, bro, you're the one who didn't do anything. It's your fault, not mine. And then I was crying, to be honest. I didn't know what to do with myself because he was a complete stranger. I didn't know what to do. I had so much shit going through my head. Had my hat down all the way. I had one of those winter hats, and I put it down all the way to here. I still have that hat, actually. It's my time. Good. Yeah. And she drove me home, too. And then that's when my mom decided that we were moving. Cops. My mom called the cops. Nothing really happened once again because nothing really happens there. Fights happen all the time. They could get, to, the kids could get suspended, whatever, but it was on school grounds, and they never really did, and then about, I think a week or two later, I don't remember if it was the next weekend or the two weeks later, but we moved, and we moved here. Yeah. I have, I remember a lot more people that used to bully me, there was this one guy, I don't remember his name, but he was a complete dick, he's like one of those people that thinks the world revolves around him and i'm thinking bro if the world revolves around you that means you're one fat ass motherfucker if you have your own gravitational pull but he would always mouth off to me and i would sit there one day just look at him normal like like a what the fuck face or i don't care bitch face i was like bitch mode activated saying a shit to me he got up slammed his hands on the desk or whatever next day he's like oh you got scared i was like no not really and he's like yeah you got scared when Pete, it's like, bro, I think I know myself. I think I know what I get scared. I've dealt with enough bullshit. I don't get scared from punk ass bitches like you. And I wish I would have said that. <sighs> I remember when I used to dye my hair for the first time. They would always make fun of me for that, too. I always got made fun of for being different. People make fun of other people when they don't understand them. That's plain and simple. People get bullied when nobody when nobody understands them. It's like nobody ever gives a person the time or the chance. And they always just make fun of them. It's like, what the hell, man? Like, what's your problem? Like, why don't you actually take your time to get to know the person? But nope, they just want to be a dick as usual. I think this video's been going on long enough. I pretty much said everything I could. Sorry if I went off on different topics again i didn't want to make this video too long but eh, went longer than expected <sighs> i know the one thing that i will never forget the most is kindergarten that's the one thing i never get the most oh yeah for they also called me annoying a lot too i remember that is that any, it's like i know I'm an, I'm an annoying person i get it but it's just it's hard to hear it from people but and eh, it's whatever it's whatever. I just gotta take that shit and ignore it. That's what I say. Oh. Ah. Ah. That felt weird. <laughs> but anyways, if you guys would like, let me know some of your uh, stories of what happened to you before. Have you ever bullied somebody and you regret it? I mean, I know I've bullied somebody, but people before. Everybody's bullied people at some time in their life. It's like they've been bullied so much they just want to know the experience and sometimes they regret it sometimes they don't sometimes they become the bully themselves <sighs> i just know I, I really fucking regretted it when i used to do that to people <sighs> something i gotta live with <laughs> anyways it's going off again anyways let me know what topic you guys want me to talk about for next week's video or the week after no no gaming video still for a while probably maybe for a few more weeks sorry about that maybe a month maybe longer than a month i don't know but anyways 
I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did. Oh, don't forget guys, don't be afraid to be who you really are. But I will see all you guys later. Peace!